Hey guys, for today's video, I have an interesting new lip gloss from Tom Ford. I have the Soleil Sunlust Lip Gloss. This is 71 Canadian or 56 US dollars, and you get seven mils or 0.24 ounces of product. So yes, it's expensive, but that is Tom Ford for you. The packaging is fine. It looks pretty gold, uh, but it's just plastic, so nothing too special there. Definitely doesn't feel luxurious when you're just holding it. So this is a high shine, non-sticky lip gloss. The shade is described as a warm rosy peach with a slight golden iridescence. And I'd say that's a pretty accurate description of the shade. Now, just looking at the product, you might think that sounds wrong. It just looks gold, but it actually switches from gold to the more rosy color as you apply it and as you rub it in. Now, this is their wording encapsulated pigments that break down on application, helping the color transform before your eyes. That's a little dramatic. <laughs> so yeah, it goes from gold to peachy gold as it's rubbed in. So it is as advertised. It's a high shine, non-sticky lip gloss. It's very comfortable. Some people have said that it feels gritty, but I do not notice that. It lasts as long as any lip gloss would. It's pretty standard that way. It's just a nice, comfortable gloss, but it looks not amazing and maybe that's because it's thin right now i'm wearing it with a lip liner and that makes it look a million times better than it does on its own a lot of my glosses i can just wear by themselves there's only a couple that are like eh, this is one of them it's not a good look maybe it's because it's so thin or because it's changing color i don't know but it applies very streaky and globby and it just i would say it washes me out almost so it might just be my skin tone and the color of my lips it might look good on someone uh with a different skin tone than me who knows but on me no it just looks bad and it's so disappointing because the swatches look beautiful i love it in theory gold to like a peachy warm rose gold sounds amazing looks really bad i'll show you what it looks like on my lips by itself it honestly doesn't look horrible but it doesn't look good it's nothing that i would ever choose to just wear by itself when i have a bajillion other lip products that i could wear and they look good if i want to make this look good i need a lipstick or a lip liner at the very very minimum like a line around the outside of my lips and then it's like what's the point because then you're just putting a little bit of glitter on top of your lipstick. This is just a lip gloss by itself with nothing. And this is me trying to like rub it in. I think because it is a thinner gloss, it, um, I don't know, it just sits weird on my lips. It doesn't fully change color. So that's kind of why it's a bit patchy. It's just a bit streaky. It also kind of settles in to my lips, I feel like. And I don't think anyone else would be able to tell unless they're like right up in there in my lips. I can only tell because I'm staring at myself in a mirror trying to like dissect this lip gloss, but yeah, it's just not that great. It's not that bad, it's not that great though. So I'm editing my video now and I'm looking at the footage of the gloss by itself. And I'm like, why does it look good on camera now? But I guess that's just the ring light for you. So here it is in natural lighting. Hopefully you can kind of get a better idea of what it looks like in real life. So for me, it's not worth it because if I'm spending $71 on something, I would like to be able to just wear it by itself and have it look nice. That's no fault to the product though, maybe, because it is very comfortable. It's a nice formula and maybe it looks nice on other people, just not me. But honestly, it's pretty gimmicky for Tom Ford, is it not? Like, why does it have to change color? Why can't it just be the color that it's gonna be? You know, I don't know. I think it's just a way to make people buy it. But I mean, it worked on me, I bought it. <laughs> I was like, oh, it changes color, let me try that out. But Tom Ford wins this one. Let me know if you'll be trying this out. Let me know if you have tried it out and if you love it. I wanna know if it's just me that it looks bad on. Maybe it looks good on other people, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.